No, we're breaking the law. And it's on camera. Oh my god. We're gonna go through this thing, but we don't have a pass. What's gonna happen? It's gonna zap us. We're gonna get zapped? <laughs> we are going to present to you guys the oldest Taco Bell that ever existed. And I'm super excited. The only problem is we don't know where it is. Hey, after we're done in Downey, do you want to go to Tide, California? <laughs> That's probably the oldest Taco Bell. It looks... Did they renovate it? Why does it look new? It was supposed to be the oldest. Are we going to the newest Taco Bell? We'll change the video title. We're going to the newest Taco Bell in the oldest town where the oldest one was. <laughs> Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Sorry, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Hey, I was wondering, are you guys the oldest Taco Bell? Are we the oldest Taco Bell here? Go straight, yeah. hit uh, Firestone, and you make a left. I got the address. It's right around the corner. Dude, this looks like a freaking new building. You gotta stop with this. We're looking for uh, the world's oldest Taco Bell. We heard it was in Downey, California. The first Taco Bell? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, a long time ago taken. Oh, it was across the street here? Yeah, yeah. two years ago. Oh, they moved it two years ago. They moved it. No, it's gone, we traveled so far. What do we do? Well, then we're gonna have to go to the next oldest. That's the oldest Taco Bell. I think this is the way to the Taco Bell. We're traveling long and far and hard and wide. <laughs> we're gonna get zapped? <laughs> you just told me I was gonna get zapped by a pole. And I believe you. <laughs> That's what we do for YouTube. We make mistakes and we end up on a road where we make more mistakes. Is this whole video a mistake? No, we're going to the oldest Taco Bell. The oldest operating Taco Bell. Oh, it's in Laguna Beach, right? Yeah. Is that the next exit? Oh, sh all this running. Taco Bell. Invented by a guy with the last name Bell. Coincidence? No. He named it after himself. Just like I would if I opened up my own franchise. Taco Piers. <laughs> <laughs> the reason we're really going here is because it's hard to get parking in Laguna Beach and this is free, so. <laughs> That's not funny. It's not funny. Shut the door. It's not funny. At least now you're next to this like really radical old car. Wow. The world's oldest Taco Bell. It's so old in here. Look, even the signage is old. It's old, but it's got new stuff in it. Wow, I never see signs talking about quality in a Taco Bell. This place is good. We heard that you guys are the oldest operating Taco Bell. Yes. Wow. The OCD's real. Look at Julia over there, filming the lady make food. Can't she just make food in peace? Thank you so much. Proprietary napkins. Got him. Julia got the Crunchwrap Supreme with this hexagon shape invented to be portable. Held as Taco Bell classic taste made modern. There's something authentic about that kind of like fake cheese they put in there. It's really good. See that? It's got the perfect tear. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> the quesadilla is my favorite thing at Taco Bell. It's so easy to apply your sauce. Simplicity at its finest. After the quesadilla launch in 2009, they came up with a dollar quesadilla flatbread. <laughs> I actually have a Facebook picture of me ordering all 10 of these, and laying them all out. Because I knew they weren't gonna stay in the menu, because it's too good to be true. Hard shell tacos don't actually exist in Mexico. You don't see them, they're not a thing. 
partial taco was invented by Taco Bell. Really? I think so, I don't know. So look that up. <laughs> yeah, let's see if that's a fact. Designing the shell is actually extremely hard to engineer. Seasoned ground beef, claimed to be 88% beef. The other 12%, well, that's a story for another day. I personally love talking about Taco Bell while I'm eating Taco Bell. Hey, remember that uh, Taco Bell dog, the Chihuahua? Yo quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> Yo quiero Taco Bell. Sad news, the poor dog didn't make it. What? No, he's still alive. The dog's fine. I mean, the dog's probably dead from old, like old age now, but no, he's fine. Let's just put it this way. The dog didn't want to make people eat tacos. So they were like, hey, listen, doggy, you're cute and all. I love your yo quiero taco bell. The commercials, yada, yada, yada. But sales were not, it wasn't helping sell of tacos. So you're telling me if I look around here, I'm not going to find a little dog. You're not going to see the dog anymore. Nope. I'm sorry. It's a really sad time to bring that news up too, because Julia just lost her dog. What are you doing, Hershey? What are you doing? Is that how you say goodbye? You know I gotta go home now. Goodbye, baby. Goodbye. <laughs> I got sauce on my phone. <laughs> we dated when the Doritos Locos Taco came out. It was fate. Do you know Taco Bell's least popular sauce? Pot? Yep. It's not Mexican food, but it is really tasty. Hey, excuse me. Do you guys have a bathroom here or no? Yeah. Alright guys, it's the world's oldest Taco Bell bathroom. They don't have it indoors. I gotta go back here. <laughs> Sorry, I hovered. You hovered? I had to hover. I'm glad that this place is still operating as one of the oldest. But before we go, I think that we should maybe try to find the oldest. You think we can? I don't know. Now it's in Irvine? Yes. So they, but, it, but you can't visit it, right? I'm not sure, but I think, yeah, you can visit it. The Irvine one? Yeah, Irvine. It's like uh, Irvine Spectrum, like uh, 10, 15 minutes from here. It's 10, 10 15, 15 minutes, minutes away from here? from here? We should go. 10 miles away, 20 minutes. I don't know if it's gonna be open. Mexican food was an untapped market at that time for QSR. No one was delivering tacos at affordable prices like Taco Bell. The first Taco Bell was opened in 1964. I wish I would've came up with Taco Bell. Over two billion customers are served each year? That's a lot of people. That's a lot of diarrhea. There's the headquarters. It looks like a Starbucks. Oh, right there. It's on Glen Bell Way. That's the name of the street. Is this the newest Taco Bell? <laughs> okay, so listen, we have to be a little bit incognito because I don't think they're open. We got to find the, the oldest Taco Bell. Oh my God, we should just avoid eye contact with the security guard. Okay. That's how we're going to get kicked out. Oh yeah, there's a receptionist. What is your business here? Oh, I love it. We got a bell. I got you. Oh my God, look wait, at that. Wait, wait, you, you go, you open. It's locked. You, you, you. <gasps> Hi. Hi, how are you? Do you guys have the oldest uh, Taco Bell here? Is it inside? No, it's not inside. Where is it? Yes. We get to see the oldest Taco Bell, but we don't get to go in the headquarters. Look at, oh my God, they have a gym in there. People are working out at a Taco Bell. There's an elevator, but I need the stairs. Because I ate all the tacos. You can see it? I don't see it. We're just in a parking garage. Oh, it's here. It's beautiful. You can kind of tell by the shape of it that the front's over there. It's got a little awning. Yeah, there wasn't even any indoor seating when they first built this thing. It's so tiny, it takes up six parking spots and that's it. Oh, look what's right behind you. Wendy's. Oh, yeah, look at you can see the inside of the restaurant. What's underneath there? Anything good? Ah! This is not a good area to go under there. Over here. There's a lot of spider webs. Oh my god, it's like haunted. I'm coming in. Let's see. Oh. oh my god, is that a bird? Is that a bat? It's a, it's a bat. It's a bat? Yeah. Look at the tiles inside. It's the inside of the kitchen. It's the oldest Taco Bell door. Oh my god, I see a huge spider. Really? Yeah. You can see the inner workings. 
of the entrance right here. This is so cool. It's all being held together with this rope. Careful in there. I'm being careful. Guys, comment below what other oldest places do you want us to visit? Because we're going to find them and we're going to go there. And we'll do another video at some point if Taco Bell ever decides to reconstruct this and open it up again. We'll see you next time with another episode of Healthy Junk Food. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and subscribing. Don't forget that you can also become a member for incredible perks, discounts, gifts, and appearing in our credits. There should be some videos on the screen. Make sure to check those out too. And remember, it's not healthy if it's healthy.